Today I'm gonna to show you how to synchronize video clips and audio tracks in Adobe Rush, so stick around. Hey everybody, what's going on? Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips, tools and tricks to help you share your story. Today I'm going to walk you through how to synchronize video clips and audio tracks in Adobe Rush. Now, Adobe Rush doesn't have an auto uh, synchronize feature just yet. Hopefully soon, you can do that in Premiere Pro. So if you want to start this project here and then send it on over to Premiere Pro, you could probably do that and synchronize there. But I'm going to show you how to do it within Rush. I shot a video of myself in here playing drums to the track Jump by Van Halen. And uh, for those fans out there, if I butchered it, sorry, I only rehearsed it a very few times. I shot on two separate cameras. The audio was on a separate track. And then I had the actual music track without drums that I was listening along with. I'm going to do a little walkthrough and show you how I synchronized it all. And hopefully it's something that you can do yourself. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I've added the video clips as well as the audio tracks into the project. So here you see those four layers. Now, in order for me to do this synchronization, this fine tuning, what I want to do is zoom in on all of these tracks. And I'll do that by clicking on this slider here and it just slide it to the left. And I want to zoom in because I want to see the waveforms. Now that I've zoomed in, what I want to do is actually see the controls for each of these layers. So I'm going to click on this button here, which is the control tracks button. And then what I'm going to do is in each of these layers, you can actually expand the audio. So you can see like those waveforms that I was talking about. So here is this one right here is the recording of myself, as you can see. So what I'll do here is click on that button there. So as you can see, it has expanded the audio. And then what I'll do is let's slide this a little bit to the left. Now that I've slid it all the way to the front, I can see the beginning of each of these tracks. I can see the audio there. And those four waveforms are actually the four clicks on the drums. So you can see one, two, three, four, and then the song starts. So what I have to do here is manually adjust this so that I can match those as close as possible. Now, I did not practice or should say rehearse this a lot. So listen to it a few times, practice maybe once or twice and then just jumped right in. So uh, for those Van Halen purists out there, apologies if I didn't get it done perfectly. Now what I'm going to do here is actually mute the video tracks so that you don't hear that audio and then actually just play the intro with just the music. In fact, what I'll do is actually I'll hide the video track. So I'm just focused on the audio here and maybe just zoom in just a little bit more. And then I'll go ahead and click on play so you can hear. Okay, so I've got that pretty much spot on. So let's go ahead and let's all the way, slide all the way to the front. And now I'm gonna do this one at a time is actually going to going to mute myself playing actually i'm going to leave that on and then i'm go actually going to mute the main track here which is the jump track and i'm going to turn on the video here and then turn on the audio now i can't see the waveform so what i'll do here is with this layer selected i'm going to expand the audio so that i can see the track and you can see there let's go ahead and take off this uh so there we see the track. So let's see, I'm going to hit play and see how it sounds. Pretty, pretty close. Now I can do some fine tuning adjustment. Let's go ahead and zoom in this a little bit more. As you can see, there is the waveform kind of matching right there. So let's see how it sounds with everything. Now let's go zoom all the way to the front or just say slide all the way to the front and let's see how it sounds. Not bad. So now with this layer adjusted or synchronized, we're going to go to the top layer and synchronize that layer to all the other ones. So what I'll do here is go ahead and hide this layer and let's go ahead and unmute and unhide the top layer. Now what I'm going to do as well is to make sure that I don't mess up or accidentally adjust the other layers is I'm going to lock them. I'll still be able to see the layers right there or I should say the clicks 
So that way I can just focus on the top one and not accidentally mess up that bottom layer. So here, let's go ahead and expand the audio. So here you can see that the top layer is not synchronized with the bottom ones. So the clicks are separate, are not in the same place. So what I'll do here is first, let's bring this timeline and let's go ahead and trim here. So we can toss those two uh, or that section of layer away. This will just be a little bit easier. So now, as you can see, here's the waveform, the first click, and then here's the waveform. I'm gonna to try to match it up to this third one because that one seems to be the most spot on. And just basically manually adjust it like that right there. Get it close. There's the timeline. So here, let's move this one right about where that is. Let's see, and get it as close as we can. There it is. Let's see how that works. Let's let's take a listen. Let's see how that works. Pretty good, pretty close. And again, you can fine tune as much. Let's see what happens if we do a little bit more adjusting here. Let's maybe back it up a bit, right about there. Let's see. And again, it's gonna take some patience to do this. So let's take a listen. This is off a little bit at the beginning. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four sounded pretty synchronized. So let's see, let's take a listen to everything together. Let's go ahead and unlock these. And what I'm going to do is actually unmute everything. And let's see how it sounds from the beginning. I probably won't play the whole song. Hopefully I don't get a strike on this video. Pretty good right there. I'm not gonna play the whole thing because again, I don't want this video to be taken down uh, because of copyright. So let's expand this just a bit so we can see and let's bring it to the front. So now the next thing I have to do for this video, because again, I shot two separate cameras is probably jump between the shot from one camera to another one. So here's how you can do that. Right now it's starting off with the Fuji camera. And one thing I do want to show you is the cameras have kind of a different color to them. This one's a little bit darker. So what I'm going to do to this, layer here is just do a quick adjustment to its brightness let's bring down the exposure just a bit maybe bring up contrast let's see let's see how that looks like pretty close maybe add a little bit more blue to it the temperature maybe right there we raise up saturation. It looks a little bit more blue like the GoPro camera. Let's take a look. That's pretty good. I'm okay with that. So now let's go ahead and expand this out. And then what I can do, as I mentioned, is we're going to cut between the two different camera shots. So here's how you do that. First off, let's go ahead and close off the color profile. And then what I'll do is basically come through here and uh, see right here where I want that trim to be and basically grab the scissors and cut at that point on that video clip and then move it forward some and cut it again and then we'll delete this section so then when i hit play it'll go from one camera angle to the other one so here's how it would look like one camera angle jumps to the different camera angle probably shouldn't have had that symbol in my face but uh, next time i'll change it up so basically just go through that throughout the video on the top layer trim it with the scissors from one point and then another point, delete that part. And that's how I'll be able to get the different camera angles to come in and out. So what I'll do is go through the rest of this video and do some splicing of the top layer, cutting in and out from different camera angles and then export and then share this video. And that's my workaround for synchronizing video clips and audio tracks in Adobe Rush. Hopefully there'll be an auto synchronization option soon, but until then you can try this out yourself. If you have any comments or questions, please do leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit that like button subscribe to the channel and then click on the bell to be notified for future videos please do share this video with others and thanks again for watching until next time be good to one another peace i'm out